water rationing worry haunts U.S. West with 40 million at risk. The federal government this week will announce the drought forecast for the arid Colorado River Basin, as well as possible cuts western states must make to conserve more water from its supply, serving roughly 40 million people. Now let's take a look at the compact that was signed in 1922 from, from the Colorado River. Here's a little map of the Colorado River, okay? A little map of the Colorado River, okay? It comes down from Colorado. And it goes all the way down here. Um to what's called the Colorado River Basin or the Colorado River Delta where it sort of dumps out into the Gulf of California or into the ocean there. Um, this compact essentially um, was an agreement among all of these states that got their water from Colorado to sort of, um, you know, they came to an agreement on how they were going to divvy it up. But along with those states was um, the country of Mexico. In fact, if you read this part of the 1922 uh, Colorado River um, Pact, it says, If, as a matter of international commodity, the United States of America shall hereafter recognize in the United, recognize in the United States of Mexico any right to the, to the use of any waters of the Colorado River systems. So I thought that was interesting. Not a lot of people that probably don't know that, you know, Mexico, the country of Mexico is... Um, it was has been involved in that um, you know included in that agreement it's just never talked about um, so for example let's take a look at the Colorado River Delta okay It's going to take us here. Like I was saying earlier, how the Colorado River dumps into the, um, the Gulf of California right here, this body of water. You can see how the river goes down here, and then it ends here. Okay. So, that's exactly what we're looking at now. Um, called the Col Lower Colorado River Valley or the Colorado River Delta. The Delta is just a washout, you know, where a river washes out into a larger body of water. Uh, namely the ocean in this case. So, we have this huge washout. And this is all the Colorado River. So, the rationing water. Um, like I showed you at the, at the beginning of this video in California and in other states um, severe rationing water rationing and news story after news story about the threats and the um, impending uh, you know doom that this drought has caused because there's just too many people moving there and too many people using the water resources but if you really look at it seems to be that there's a lot of fresh water from the Colorado River just being washed out into the uh, the ocean there um, in fact this is exactly where it comes out um, that's called the biosphere reserve of the upper Gulf of California and Colorado River Delta um, that's the name of this uh, Colorado River Delta Biosphere Reserve is kind of an interesting name. So let's look at that. Let's see. Biosphere Reserve. Get some more info on this. Kind of interested. Alto Golfo de California Biosphere Reserve. <laughs> Uh, I butchered that is a UNESCO biosphere reserve located in the state of Sonora uh, in extreme northern western northwestern Mexico um, so it is a UNESCO biosphere reserve that's very interesting interesting Let's see if it will give us um, We 
UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Interesting. So what's a biosphere reserve? Biosphere reserve program is an internet intergovernmental scientific program launched in 1971 by UNESCO that aims to establish a scientific basis for the improvement of relationships between people and their environments. Okay. So, just millions of uh, acre feet of, of water are being washed into the ocean there, in the Gulf of California here, and it seems to be that that delta is a um, United Nations, you know, UNESCO. What do they call it? Scientific um, biosphere, yeah, biosphere reserve, a UNESCO biosphere reserve. So, um, yeah, just don't really see why uh, the UN has um, jurisdiction over that, but um, it seems like uh, yeah, they're just letting water flow through. So, just thought. That was an interesting um, little observation that not too many people may know about. So I thought I'd just share that with y'all. And anybody who hasn't left the uh, Western uh, United States, California, you know, um, Arizona, Oregon, Washington State, Best of luck to you. All right.